humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judgeth his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. Israelites, if you can't stand firm and trust the Most High, anything that you desire from the Most High you shall receive as long as it corresponds with His will for your life. When you apply the principles of the Most High to your life, no good thing would the Most High withhold from you. Yah is looking to change His people's position. The scriptures inform us that the Most High could do exceedingly above and beyond what we could ever imagine and think of. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. The Most High is informing us that he can fulfill our heart desires and do beyond what we could ever imagine. This should motivate you to dream big, inspire you to seek your Father with all of your heart and serve him in the spirit and in the truth. As we continue to align ourselves with truth, secure ourselves in his righteousness, we will continue to elevate as a people. Israelites, I want you to recognize the times we are living in to appreciate the Most High for answering our prayers and intervening in our situations. Despite of the many failures we endure in our lives, Yah is willing to save His people. Do not give up, Israelites. The Most High has multiple purpose for the trials we face. Do not perceive the trials are meant for only destruction. Trials bring forth growth and change into our lives. The kingdom of darkness used trials and tribulations to discourage you and to stop your spiritual growth. The Most High used trials to show you what's in your heart and to bring change and maturity. The scriptures inform us to count it as joy when you encounter trials and tribulations of all sorts. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Trials and tribulations reveal to us that the Most High is answering our prayers and intervening in our situations. Trials also reveal to us that the Most High is judging our enemies. The kingdom of darkness is targeting the awakening, especially those of us who have awakened to our identity. Israelites, that is a good thing. We are purging out the ways of the world and obtaining a new mindset. If we were doing the will of the kingdom of darkness, Satan would not attack us. When you start to break covenants and the people are being delivered, the kingdom of darkness will have a problem. Satan will send his servants to interfere and to stop the truth from spreading. If the kingdom of darkness can keep you operating in the flesh, Satan can control you and order your steps. Israelites, have you noticed that the people who are under control by the kingdom of darkness all have the same mindset? They could care less about the affairs of the Most High. The wisdom and the ways of the Most High is foolishness to them. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Satan will use the wicked to persecute the people who choose to serve the Most High. The kingdom of darkness will use the wicked to attack themselves. Satan will use the wicked to interfere with their own deliverance to keep them in bondage. Those who operate in the flesh cannot comprehend anything of the spirit because the affairs of the Most High is foolishness with them. The flesh and the spirit are in conflict with each other. Israelites, when the kingdom of darkness escalate the persecution towards you, this is when you must trust your Elohim despite of what the outward conditions appear to be. Do not become passive nor ignore the kingdom of darkness when they attack. You have to humble yourself before the Most High. Think like a warrior and begin to attack your enemy in the spirit. As long as you remain in the spirit, the kingdom of darkness cannot disconnect you from the protection of the Most High. Satan wants you to respond in the flesh to reign in your life once more. Our people always responded in the flesh. 
when the workers of iniquity attack any organization or any form of unity in the Israelite black community, the kingdom of darkness found success because the leaders did not know the most high. In addition, they were fighting their enemies in the flesh. The kingdom of darkness has home field advantage every time you respond in the flesh because the flesh is Satan's territory. As you continue to destroy old covenants and establish new covenants with the Most High, the kingdom of darkness will continue to persecute you on a personal level and on a national level. When you begin to break covenants that had you bound, the kingdom of darkness will send people to stand in your way and encourage you to return to do the things that kept you in bondage. Israelites, it is never worth returning to old ways of thinking and bad habits. The scripture said a dog that returns to his vomit is a fool. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. When a person returned to their old ways, their life will be worse than before. The scriptures inform us that it is better for you to have not known the Most High in His righteousness than turn your back on His commands. The kingdom of darkness will place a stronger hold on your life when you return to your vomit. For example, an Israelite who have awakened from his or her slumber, receive wisdom and understanding. Learn to uphold the righteousness of Yah. Suddenly change their mind and go back to religion. When that individual return to religion, his or her life will be worse than before. It would be extremely difficult to convince that person to return to the awakening. Only the Most High would be able to rescue that person and give them life. The Most High will do it after he chastise and humble that person first. That way he or she would never return to their vomit. For if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to a wallowing in the mire. Israelites, do not allow the agents among us to make decisions for you in the awakening. Do not allow unclean spirits to discourage you in the awakening. Do not allow the persecutions from the synagogue of Satan stop you from fighting back. Continue to pursue the Most High and you will elevate glory to glory. On the national level, the kingdom of darkness will attack the awakening. The protected class will start a smear campaign with false accusations. By doing this, it will discourage the people on the fence to return to darkness. The spiritual wickedness in high places the leaders of today will create outrageous laws to protect the kingdom of darkness. The modern day leaders are being bribed behind the scenes. That is one way the protected class remain protected. Israelites, you have to know how your enemies operate. Satan wants to control both sides of the operation, the awakening and the opposition. He will do this by setting up agents in the Israelite community. Elevate those agents to celebrity status. Use the people that admire the agents to commit crimes. On the opposite side, influence the workers of iniquity to put labels and false accusations against an entire group of people. The kingdom of darkness has done this to every group of people who are aware of the deception. The workers of iniquity have done this in the Islamic community by labeling them terrorists the Israelite community by labeling Israelites as extremists. Somehow, the protected class who have the power and weapons of mass destruction are victims and righteous people. The protected class wants to be viewed as the victims. That way, when they kill you, they will justify their sins because you were an extremist and terrorist. A cycle that continued to repeat itself and the people fall for it in multiple generations. This time around, the Most High is fighting for His people. The people of the Most High are in the truth. The scripture said the truth would make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. When the people of the Most High are submitted to their Elohim, He will fight for them. 
The kingdom of darkness and its human agents are beginning to feel the wrath of the Most High. Both Israelites and heathens who have become strangers are beginning to find the truth. Israelites are now equipped with the proper knowledge they needed to defeat their enemies. The purpose of religion was to prevent the people from obtaining knowledge. By brainwashing the people with false interpretations of the scriptures and keeping the people operating in the flesh, this armed them. With the people worshiping idols in religion, severed the Most High's relationship with his people. The Most High is arming his people with wisdom and understanding of all sorts. With wisdom, Israelites and strangers everywhere are being delivered. Israelites, when the Most High is fighting for you, you must continue to engage in the activities that has activated the power of the Most High to take vengeance on your behalf. Israelites, you must continue to fast and pray. Do not stop. Get wisdom, get understanding. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, as your knowledge increase, learn to move in silence. You do not want to arm your enemies. Yes, greater is he that's in you than he that's in this world. However, you have to be wise as a serpent, gentle and innocent like doves. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. There are some things that are meant to be private. When you fast, do not imitate the Pharisees and heathens. Do not let the world know you are fasting. Do not reveal to your enemies what the Most High is revealing to you in the spirit realm. When our ancestors proclaim a fast, they did it among themselves. Our ancestors did not proclaim a fast publicly for their enemies to know their next move. You must not let your right hand know what the left hand is doing. When thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. The scriptures inform us to pray and fast in secret. If you have an assembly, proclaim a fast privately among yourselves in your groups. Israelites, you can proclaim your own private fasting and prayers with the Most High. You do not need a group of people backing you up to get results. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. If Israelites are in tune and walking uprightly with the Most High, Yah will speak to his people, place it in the hearts of individuals to fast and pray. Israelites, the Elohim of Israel is intelligent. He placed his spirit in his people for a reason. The spirit of the Most High dwelling in you is an advantage you have over your enemies. Fasting is serious, Israelites. If it is done wrong, there are severe penalties. Move in silence, Israelites. Do not seek clout. As you continue to fast and pray, the kingdom of darkness will use the workers of iniquity to persecute and escalate attacks against you and the awakening as a whole. Put on the armor of Yah to stand against your enemies. Team up with the Most High to destroy your enemies. Only the Most High can save us. Put your trust in Him. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. The scriptures inform us that a good name is better than riches and favor. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. If your name is tarnished, it would be difficult for you to win the trust of the people. The kingdom of darkness is a mastermind behind disgracing and shaming the people of the Most High to uplift the wicked. Presently, the workers of iniquity is using the spirit of disgrace and shame to discredit the awakening. If the people lose trust in their leaders, they will not adhere to the teachings nor support the leaders. That is why the kingdom of darkness used the spirit of disgrace and shame to steer people away from the awakening. The Most High is particular about His name. One of the many commandments the Most High gave to His people was, Do not use His name in vain. 
Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. The spirit of shame and disgrace is running rampant in the awakening. We have people shaming each other all over the internet. In the Israelite community, whenever there is a disagreement in the interpretation of the scriptures, a person's name and character is assassinated. Whenever an agent or a Pharisee does not agree with a message, if they are seeking to glorify themselves, they will try to discredit a person by shaming and disgracing the person or assembly. There is a lot of shaming and disgracing going around. Israelites, when you entertain and play with devils, do not be surprised when they turn against you and destroy you. A person reap what they sow. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Witches and warlocks love to use the spirit of shame and disgrace to attack their victims. Shaming and disgracing a person is not of the most high. The spirit of disgrace or shame in the physical realm cause strife and division. In addition to strife, the spirit of shame and disgrace are the root to many Israelites boycotting their brethren's establishment, causing business owners and those who seek to do good to fail. The spirit of humiliation, jealousy, and rejection travel with the spirit of shame and disgrace. Black people are known to humiliate each other privately and publicly. A repented individual in the awakening should not be shaming, disgracing, and humiliating other Israelites. The scriptures inform us to speak life and to build a person up. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Remember, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Speak positive, righteous words into the atmosphere. The spirit of shame and disgrace show up in clever ways in the spirit realm. A common dream most people have, particularly to women, that symbolize the spirit of shame or disgrace when someone is cutting your hair or your hair is falling out. The scriptures symbolize a woman's hair as her crown and her glory. The scriptures said it is shameful for a woman to cut her hair or shave her hair. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. But that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. To the daughters of Zion, in the spirit realm, your hair can symbolize your husband. To the Israelite man, your hair can symbolize your strength in the spirit realm. When you see yourself half naked or naked in a public settings, that is symbolizing the spirit of shame and disgrace using witchcraft. A more subtle way the spirit of shame and disgrace show up in the spirit realm when you see naked people around you and they do not have their sexual organs. The scriptures inform us a person who uncovered the nakedness of their sibling does a disgraceful thing and they would be cut off. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she see his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He hath uncovered his sister's nakedness, he shall bear his iniquity. You must break the covenants forged with the unclean spirit of disgrace and shame. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness have multiple ways they attack you to prevent you from becoming the man or woman the Most High called you to be. It is your responsibility to obtain the knowledge needed to stand against the kingdom of darkness. Demonic oppression is real. As you uncover your enemies, you will begin to see the root cause to the problems that have been plaguing the Israelite community for generations. If you keep yourself from evil, you will do well. The awakening is not about division, strife, humiliating, and destroying your people. This is the time for us to come together and return to serving our Elohim in the spirit and in the truth. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. The people you interact with are vessels being used by either the Most High or the Kingdom of Darkness.
It is extremely important to test their spirit. If you take the time to examine the root cause to your problems, the kingdom of darkness will be the common denominator. Demonic oppression do not have to rule your life, Israelites. Make the decision today to stop entertaining the unclean spirits that lure you into a trap. Unclean spirits are attracted to negativity. Remember, the scripture said, as a man think it, so is he. Allow the Most High to transform your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The scriptures inform us that the Most High set his affection on us because he loves us and wants to fulfill the covenant promises he made to our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness using demonic oppression delay our deliverance. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen, from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, 